This video supported in part by... It's just a VR YouTube channel. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John, I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thank you for clicking through to this video. You know, a few months ago, New Wave Toys released the latest in their line of replicate one-sixth scale arcade machines, and it was Atari's 1979 classic, Asteroids. Now, Replicate reached out to Gen X Grown Up to see if we would like a copy of this Asteroids for review, and I'm never gonna say no to one of these great Replicate machines. And I watched several reviews by other YouTubers to see what they thought of the unit, and though the same build quality is there, there were several criticisms about some of the decisions made modifying that original ROM to some small degree. So, it's incredibly good timing that we would have this Asteroids to review right as the brand new firmware has been dropped by New Wave Toys. So, in this review, we're gonna take a look at this Replicate Asteroids 1 6th scale arcade machine and I'm gonna look at it as it ships and then I'm gonna flash this unit with the new firmware check out the differences see what they've improved and ultimately find out whether this replicate asteroids is one that you're gonna want in your collection let's get started right now Don't you know that you're Yeah, let's dive into this Replicate Asteroids. Yeah, it looks, plays, and controls like the original Asteroids game. Yeah, I would expect so. Good old Replicate with those original arcade ROMs. Let's get inside and see what's waiting for us. Well, for starters, we have this little care package. We'll get to that in a second. Micro USB charging cable. And hiding under here. This is more of what I've come to expect from these Replicate units from New Wave Toys, and that's a good thing. I mean, just the overall design, the attention to detail, the craftsmanship. Uh, I mean, look at this gorgeous kind of satin finish side art for asteroids. I mean, that's really, really gorgeous. Starting our tour of the device around back, of course, we have a power switch. We have the volume wheel and then just a power LED right there. Midway down the back is that nice big speaker. Here's the label showing I have number 3003 of 3500. And then here at the bottom is the micro USB charging port. No HDMI out on this one, unfortunately. Around the front, we have this lighted marquee, of course, and this arcade accurate screen bezel, including instructions across the bottom stripe there. Now, one quick thing about this bezel that would be easy to overlook, but I want to call attention to. Can you see that it's not just a sticker? It's actually a molded extruded piece with depth. So this is not an afterthought. This was part of the construction, the attention to detail that goes into these units that I always appreciate. Down to the knee board, you have this metal replica coin door. It even has the side loading coin slots, <laughs> very accurate. Uh, left and right coin slots of a replicate. This is a coin insert and this one is uh, the menu. If you open the door, in fact, you can see these switches behind it. Let's turn our attention now to this control panel, which absolutely looks fantastic. Now this is where replicate has to take little creative licenses because though this is a scale unit, you still need to be able to play it. So the buttons are a little bit taller and a little bit smaller. But yeah, you have left and right rotate, thrust, fire, and of course your hyperspace. And I wanna call particular attention to these little volcano style player start buttons because when you turn the unit on, that's right, they light up. Let's briefly turn our attention to this insert goodie bag to see what's inside because there are a couple of really cool things that I really wanna point out. Now, of course, we have the little pack of tiny quarters that are to scale with the cabinet. They don't actually go in the coin slots, but they continue the illusion and they're a hallmark of these replicate units. Now we have instructions. I make a running joke of throwing away instructions, but this one isn't going anywhere. Look at this thing that's made to resemble a service manual as if you own the actual cabinet back in 79 or 80. Of course, inside, it's just an instruction manual for this unit, but, yeah, that's something that is staying with this cabinet forever, not getting thrown away. And last but not least in that little pack, this is a deep cut if you are an Asteroids or old classic arcade fan. This is a replacement control panel cover. It's a decal, I'm pretty sure, but this is not the same as the original. This, I believe, is meant to resemble the old Willis Amusements replacement covers that you could purchase. Willis Amusements was this company that... It was kind of a joke because they were kind of subpar because they weren't original, but they made their own version of replacement artwork for all sorts of cabinets, and this was the one you could get when your Asteroids cabinet got torn up. So Replicate included a Willis Amusements panel cover if you want to switch it out. A tour is always fun, but now it's time to power it on and check out the gameplay. One of the first things you'll notice is that illuminated coin return, and of course this illuminated marquee that fires right up. Hey, there's our new wave logo, Replicate Amusements, presents Atari's Asteroids. All right, before we jump into the game, let's hop into the menu and see what options we're presented with. 
We can declare that marquee on or off. We can declare how many lives we want to start with. So this is direct dip switches inside of the ROM. Replicate attract mode. Yeah, so that's whether or not you have sounds when you're not playing, uh, depending on how you want your little mini arcade to look. And a button to reset the high score, which actually will drop us right back in the game. Okay, let's put in a credit and try out some asteroids. Let's hit that left volcano button, and away we go. Okay. Oh, look at those giant bullets. All right, so this is the first thing that I had heard about the replicate were the giant bullets. So what's happening here is because we're replicating a vector display on a raster display, uh, they can be very, very tiny. And so I think New Wave was trying to make sure that it was playable, much like you make the buttons a little larger for your fingers, you make the bullets a little larger because they can be so small. Uh, however, it looks wrong. <laughs> The game plays great, actually. It's playing really, really well. It's super smooth. My hyperspace, which almost always puts me in the middle of a rock. Oh, there's a UFO. Gotcha. This is Asteroids. I don't have any complaints about the gameplay. It's just what you would expect and love. Now, I know a lot of Asteroids players like to just sit in the center and rotate, but I like to play with the physics of the spaceship and move around the screen a little bit. The buttons are not clicky at all, but they're very responsive. And despite being tiny, the height on them really makes it pressable, so I have no complaints about the controls either. Those bullets are really distracting. I can't wait to, I can't wait to try uh, switching out the firmware. Now, one other criticism of the stock firmware that I've heard is that if you drop to the menu to pause, and when you come back out, that the gameplay can get a bit stuttery and choppy. And I have seen this on this unit once, although not repeatably or reliably. All right, so, so far, the machine plays great, controls great, looks great, except for those bullets. Now, so far, so good. I really like where we're going with this Asteroids, and I have a number in mind if I were to review this as it stands, but as promised, it's now time to flash the firmware on this unit to get it up to speed with the latest release the New Wave Toys has put out. You just plug the cabinet into your Windows 10 PC. It's recognized as a drive by the flash utility. With just a few clicks and a couple minutes of waiting, you have got a brand new updated version of software on your Asteroids cabinet. All right, let's head back to the table and see what changes are in store for us. All right, a lot more opportunity for change now. So we still have that marquee option in the starting lives, but now they've combined attract audio and the missiles into options. So it looks like I can pick any one of these and determine. So I want small missile, no attract sound, just like that. The other thing of note is that anytime you come into the menu and out, it will automatically reset the emulation for you. So if you are enjoying using that as a pause button, no longer. Now, if you loved pausing the game, that might be a problem for you, but the fact that you couldn't pause the original arcade game doesn't really see, I don't see that as a ding in my book. I think that's fine. So let's see with the new smaller bullets, how this compares. Yeah, so it's perfect now. I understand why they added the larger bullets in the original firmware. It's clearly super tiny bullets. No question about it, but it's more accurate. It's more correct, and I appreciate that. And they didn't take it away. It's still in the menu. If you want to use those giant bullets to make it more legible, fine. If you want it to be more accurate to what you remember, that option is there for you, too. I could certainly see people complaining about this if they weren't original Asteroids fans, although I don't know why those people would buy <laughs> this cabinet. Uh, but yeah, the fact that the option exists makes this a great new firmware that improves upon everything that I already liked about this unit. I've really got to give credit here to New Wave Toys for listening to the voice of their consumers, the people that grab these units. After playing it with the large and small bullets both, I understand why they went with the large bullets. When you're replicating that vector display on a little raster screen, they're really hard to see. Originally selling for about $120 on the New Wave Toys site, this is now out of stock. So if you want to find one, you're going to have to kind of fish around on the secondary market. You might pay a little more, a little less, but wow, I continue to love what Replicate does with these units. They're absolutely the crown jewels of my collection. So for this Asteroids Replicate from New Wave Toys with the updated firmware, I'm going to give this four and a half tokens 
out of five. And because of how well New Wave Toys has delivered both on the initial product and the follow-up after the sale, listening to all of us and doing the updated firmware, I don't think this is one you can miss if you are a fan of these classic arcade games. Man, I really hope you found something to enjoy in this video, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, you made it to the end. If you liked this video, the best way to say thanks is to watch one more. Here are a couple suggestions that you just might enjoy. And if you love our content, maybe consider becoming a Patreon supporter by following the link on screen. Unacceptable for grown-ups. Your dinner cannot just be french fries.